morning. Yeah, just the challenges this season, mixing and matching in the secondary with all the injuries, and how do you, you know, maybe uh, adjust with the pass defense uh, the rest of the season? I mean, got to find creative ways to get our guys on the field and put them in positions to uh, make plays and have coverage concepts that play to the strengths of the guys that have to be on there. Uh, when you lose the two corners, um, you didn't have Sanguinetti, just a lot of core components of guys that have played hundreds of snaps for you. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> our job is to go out there and find ways to win games, get off the field and get the ball back to our offense. So you keep finding creative ways to put those guys in positions to, uh, to really focus on what they do well and to give us a chance to win the football game. Just, uh, also, just, just sort of what stood out to you in terms of breakdowns in the second half? What stood out to you just as far as breakdowns you saw in the second half? Um, I, I thought some of it was one-on-one -on -one matchups um, in certain situations, and then I thought we had a little bit of communication issues on some of the pick routes where guys got rubbed and guys got free um, on third down. And I think that led to guys being open. Um, we got to have better awareness. I got to coach them better, for one, um, to have awareness of splits, um, can't get rubbed, um, depth of routes, um, and give Maryland credit. They, they did some good things. And so I think we got to do a uh, – I have to do a better job of making sure with certain looks we know how to work through the coverage issues no matter who's in the game. I guess at the same time as, as you've had to maybe move a couple pieces around there too, do, do you almost kind of – have to be careful not to, I don't know if the word is overcomplicate, but to to not sort of, you know, constantly be looking for added layers when you're also maybe having to move a guy like Noah Pierre down from corner or something like that? For sure. Everything we do as you start moving guys around has to almost be more simple in nature because you may be asking a guy to play two positions based on, uh, based on injury. So <clears throat> we definitely have uh, simplify things and did things to make it a little bit easier for the parts to go in the game. But we got to be careful not to do so much where it's easier for an offense to operate and stay on the field. I know that the defense hasn't been up to your standards over the, the past couple of weeks, but Michael McFadden has been a, a constant for you. How important has it been for him to just be a rudder for this defense, you know, despite how the, the injuries are in the, in the defensive backfield? His presence, how important has that been? It's been huge for us. I mean, he's that rock in our defense. He's a general on the field, and he's the guy that has been able to be disruptive um, on any down and distance, any situation in the game, third and short, fourth and short, third and long, first down. Um, his, his level of play, his level of communication and execution are huge. I think it gives guys that have to come in the game at non-traditional uh, positions he gives them confidence because he's able to get us lined up, set the defense, and set the call. So having a guy like him is what has kept us in games and allowed us to be successful uh, against the run um, on third down to get TFLs. Um, his, his aura on the field with our players has really helped. And as younger guys come in, and they have to lean on him a little bit, and I think he shows them how to play the game. Uh, Coach, you mentioned the run. Uh, you faced, just faced a team that uh, passed for a lot of yards, but this week it's going to be the opposite, and communication will obviously be very difficult in that stadium. What are you going to have to do to stop the run in, in the 110,000-seat stadium? Um, I think, for one, you know, at least we get lucky where the, the fans will be a little bit quieter because they're on offense, hopefully, um, when they have the ball. Um, and, and from a communication, that's always paramount to what we do. But I think for the run, it starts with, you know, when we play games versus Michigan State and other teams where – you got to have set edges. You got to keep the ball in between your defenders, and you have to swarm it with effort and energy on every play. They have two unbelievable backs. Um, they have a you know, two headed monster at quarterback. One runs the ball extremely well, and they give you a ton of different formations you have to deal with. So, if Russ is about playing our base fundamentals and rules, setting edges, and allowing our defense to run the ball down from inside out, you know, we can't let that ball crease us with their gap scheme. We also can't let it outflank us with their perimeter run. So tremendous, tremendous challenge ahead of us. Um, but I'm really looking forward to our guys getting on the practice field Tuesday and have a chance to get it going. Appreciate it, guys.